you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 28th monday let's begin this day with the peace and grace of our, our lord jesus christ today holy catholic church celebrates the feast of the holy innocents martyrs the reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 2 verses 13 to 18 now after they had left an angel of the lord appeared to joseph in a dream and said get up take the child and his mother and flee to egypt and remain there until i tell you for her is about to search for the child to destroy him then joseph got up took the child and his mother by night and went to egypt and remained there until the death of herod this was to fulfill what had been spoken by the lord through the prophet out of egypt i have called my son when herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men he was infuriated and he sent and killed all the children in and around bethlehem who were 2 years old and under according to the time that he had learned from the wise men then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet jeremiah a voice was heard in rama wailing and loud lamentation rachel weeping for her children she refused to be consoled because they are no more the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ happy feast day my dear friends today the church prayers the memory of the infants who were killed by the order of king herod in bethlehem and its surroundings if we have a closer look at of chapter 2 of matthew gospel we find the major theme of the chapter is god protects the child jesus from his enemies mother mary joseph the star angel the kings from the east the infants and their weeping mothers were helpers who assisted god in the noble venture of protecting the life of jesus from the hands of a king herod today we are called to protect the infants all over the world suffering atrocities some brutally killed in their mother's womb molested raped children denied of elementary education and forced to for bonded labors children working in the market for cheap wages working in the garage day night suffering all ill treatment caused by their bosses domestic works become friendly with the unloved abandoned and often children all over the world and do something for their well-being mala yusuf us a pakistani girl is the teenager shot in the head by taliban gunmen because she had to go to school which was banned by taliban in afghanistan she wrote in her diary i was afraid of going to school because taliban has introduced an edict banning all girls from attending schools on my way from school to home i heard a man saying i will kill you she dared the powerful taliban and became symbol of courage in the world of terrorism and innocent killing yes herod and his associates were eager to persecute because of their self interests of power and position and were ready to eliminate the newborn messiah the reaction of the institutional religion and civil power was in sharp contrast with that of the wise men the later met god in manger worshiped him and offered gifts and returned enriched for this they emptied themselves and infant jesus filled their hearts with eternal peace and joy the coming of jesus possesses an option before us to choose life or death to choose jesus means to choose life to choose to be a member of his kingdom is to say an emphatic no to the powers and riches of this world herod who did not hesitate to put to death 
any who might be a threat to his power. For such a man, the elimination of a handful of villagers' children would mean nothing. For us, of course, the event has significance because these children died in the place of Jesus. They are regarded as martyrs. Of course, Jesus himself would one day die for them and for all of us. That was happened. We wonder how many people today would consider that the Holy Family were refugees, having had to leave their homeland to escape the violence that threatened them at home. Refugees do not leave their homeland on a whim, but rather seeking to live in security. They leave behind everything except their human dignity, which we all individuals and governments need to respect. Amen. May God bless us.